Hey folks, uh, I'm trying to be in a good mood today. <laughs> it's kind of difficult with an uncertain future. So apparently the people that were here looking made an offer that was too low. They wouldn't accept it. And apparently we have another one coming tomorrow. So, when I got interrupted in the last video, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Um, the tubes that I need for the monster are 8 inch in the, the center, eight, they're for 8 inch rims. My rims are 9 inch, but 8 inch that I buy fit, so whatever size I get, they have to be at least 8 inches. Now, <clears throat> I couldn't find 8 inch whatsoever in 15 inch tubes. Everything's for 6 inch rims. Why? <laughs> So, I got looking and I looked at 13 inch, 14 inch, 12 inch. I can't find anything for an 8 inch rim. Everything is 6 inch rims. So, the only 8 inch I could find is on a 16 and a half inch tube. <laughs> so, I bought a couple. Um, I bought two because it was actually cheaper for me to buy a two pack. Then, well, actually, it would have been the same price. Uh, if I bought a single, it was like 40 bucks. If I bought a two-pack, it was 40 bucks. So I bought the two-pack. So if it works, I'll have two for the same price of what I paid for one, even though I'm not sure. I did kind of take them out to look at them. They might be too big. I don't know. Uh, next time I change a, a back tire, I'll look. I obviously can't use them on the front tires. They're way too big for the front tires. Front tires are only 13-inch, so... They're a little bit smaller. I can still use the, the wheelbarrow tubes on the front without an issue. Um, kind of think there was something else. So, you may have noticed I have my microphone on. And I have my camera set up. What could that mean? <laughs> For whatever reason, I woke up this morning at 7.13. Nothing woke me up. I just woke up naturally at 7.13. And I could not get back to sleep. So I decided, well, I have a major issue to fix on the monster, so I'm going to get up and I'm going to do that today. So I went out and I got me... McDonald's breakfast, which I rarely do, but, you know, when I buy McDonald's, that's usually what I get, is the breakfast. So I went out and I did a, just a little bit of a tour. It's, it's a beautiful morning. <clears throat> um, we had storms come through last night, nothing here. I heard a little bit of thunder, really, really nice light lightning show off to the south, but <laughs> we didn't get any nasty weather. There's potential for tornado tornadoes, and I haven't really look to see if anybody got one, but east of us, so we didn't get much at all here. We had a severe thunderstorm watch. That's as, that's as bad as it got for us, but we got a little bit of hail right at the very start, just a little bit, just enough to make dots on the road, and that was it for the first system that went through, and then the second one, everything started popping up just before it come off the lake, and now it grazed us. That's it. No direct hit on anything. But when it comes to severe storms, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, when I changed the back tire, or the back tube on the monster here, I showed you how the, the hub wiggled a little bit. And I had said that this one is worse. And it is. I've been kind of concerned about it. Because um, I mentioned in an earlier video, I talked about it, I hinted that there was an issue here. And I said, if you remember a while ago, um, when the hubs wore down, and the splines had pretty much became flat, and the axle would spin, but the wheel wouldn't. So I mentioned, I said, I gotta fix that before that happens. Well, right after I finished making that video, <laughs> uh, 
I took the monster outside to turn it around, and it is now doing it. Oh my goodness. So I cannot drive the monster at all right now, no matter what I do with it. <clears throat> so I don't want to damage my spline, so I'm going to do that right now. <coughs> First thing I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to make sure the hub bolt is tight. Okay, it is in there. I'm just checking to see if it doesn't fall out. Because if it's not tight and everything's just kind of slid outwards, then that's a lot, you know. But, I'm going to change it anyways. I've got my new hubs. Hopefully these hubs fit well. And hopefully I haven't done any damage to the splines. But if there's any play whatsoever in the new hubs, then i got to get the welder out. I'm going to spot weld on the splines themselves and just just to take up a little extra space and then I'll spin the axle and grind it down as I'm spinning until they're down far enough I can get the hub onto it. And that will prevent any motion whatsoever and they will not grind down again. <laughs> they, they don't... Oh. The first transaxle that I had everything fit fine, right? And then I had to replace, and the, the the hubs wouldn't fit completely tight. And like I say, when I'm driving, the, the monster's pushing down, and with the hubs loose, they're kind of like the top of the wheels would be angled inwards like this, and that one will be angled in like that's what's wearing my tires down, because they're not running straight right now. And as I do that, as the as it's going around and around and around that part that's kind of angled upwards is moving around the axle so it's grinding and that's what's wearing the, the hubs out so I'll go fix that I got nothing else to do right now uh, ODSB hasn't approved the parts yet I called yesterday called my dealer to check in to see what's going on and he says he hasn't heard from him so I called ODSP up and they're, they're they keep changing workers around. It's driving me nuts. <clears throat> so I have a new case worker, and they're they're just backlogged, right? They 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 move everybody. So I said to the guy, I said, "Well, I said the problem is, I have a scooter that I can't drive yet because I'm waiting for parts that haven't been approved yet." <laughs> and he says, "Well, you might get you might want to get on it then." So she's not in the office yesterday, obviously. She never is. Well, none of them ever are, any time I call. Like, do they do any work, you know? So, I left a voicemail. Hopefully, she calls me today. Today's Friday. If she doesn't call me today, I gotta wait till Monday. More days. I just... I, I hate dealing with... Again, I hate relying on other people. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna... Start with this, I guess. I'm gonna get my wrenches out, my ratchet, and see if that bolt came loose again, which it tends to do. I wanted to replace those, but of course, you know, instead of sending me hub bolts, or I guess it would be axle bolts, they sold me, sent me hub bolts to hold the wheel onto the hub, <laughs> not the wheel onto the axle. So now that I have a good parts list, I can actually specify an actual part number. And if they mess that up, then that's not on me. <clears throat> okay, so, anyways, I gotta start with this, and I'm just gonna do this first. I'm gonna check to make sure it's first. I'm not gonna turn the camera on for that yet. And I'll just kinda go from there, I guess. So, I hope you can hear me okay. And originally, I brought the wrong microphone out back yeah I forgot my charge record I had to go in to get that and then I come out and I grabbed the wrong microphone I grabbed my wireless one which gives an echo with this camera so I can't use it <laughs> and this one it's really tight fit to get it in with the power cord on so the power cord is just kind of on a bit of an angle, but the light's still on, so it's still charging. So hopefully, I get the microphone receiver in far enough. 
that it's actually doing its job and you can hear me so I did check and the hub bolt is tight so that yeah, wasn't the issue yeah, big cut on here how did that happen so it's definitely the worn hub ah. Too far up. Uh oh, not this again. I'm trying to turn the axle, turn this one, which is making the other wheel go the other way, but because this hub's worn out, it's actually moving the monster. Because <laughs> I'm turning the axle, which is why I haven't jacked it up yet. Holy smokes. Um, where did that thing go? <laughs> Bird clamp. It's hollow. I don't want to break my socket wrench. Stop moving. That tells me it wasn't going to come loose on its own. Okay. Now I got to move the monster forward again. <laughs> right about there. Perfect. Ah. So it is like. A really really hot day yesterday it was nice and today now the storms have passed through it's cooled down a little bit and it's actually pretty nice I think that's that's not good <laughs> that is not good <clears throat> come on oh, what the heck Wait. I need some light here. What is going on in there? <sighs> Apparently I'm missing the bolt. take my sweater off soon. It was supposed to be 16 degrees. Oh yeah, splines are worn down. It's not just the hub. Come on out. Come on out. There we go. Heck. Yeah, it's not just the hub. The splines are worn down too. Not like they were before. Let's see how much play I've got here. They wrap these things up so tight so they don't escape. <laughs> Not 
it's actually not too bad. And it's only at the front. too bad but that will still wear it down I wonder if I put the bolt in I wonder if that will hold it tight now <sighs> okay do I want to do this do I want to go through the effort Because <laughs> I'm due for a new motor and transaxle anyways. Every couple years I've had to change it. It's been three years now. I'm in the third year. So do I? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I wonder if I just grease the crap out of that. Check. <sighs> you know, does make a big difference. I can't move my hand. Okay. I'll go with that. Try not to knock it off the stand. Not the jack. Okay. I'll wait till I get the wheel back on. But now, I have to dehub this one. Oh, I'm losing the feeling in my legs already. extensions on here. Oh, I do need the right socket though. I know what I need. Oh. I need my dollar store seat. <laughs> oh, I'm not standing and I'm not kneeling. I'm like halfway in between. I'm too close though. I guess the hub's not gonna fall if I'm not if it's sitting on the hole on the ground. Okay. Just breathe. I know you're not gonna see that very well, but it's almost worn flat. There's almost no splines left in there whatsoever. Been there before. I'll probably be there again. See if I can do this without, without taking all the screws out. Where's the holes? I 
in the hole. Hey there. Come on, okay, you're in the hole. You're in the hole, why aren't you screwing in? Got it. <clears throat> Good enough for that. I can lower the monster now. Ow. I up cursing my knee. I gotta move back even further. Just too close. Okay. Ugh. I know why they're so tight. New hubs got paint in the threads. Feel about that. Normally, I could just screw them in by hand. Until I'm ready to tighten them up, but these ones are really tight. Now I remember why. <clears throat> okay. So now I can take them on through without worry. Oh my goodness. So I am going to take them on through outside. Turn it around, come back in, and do the other side. Oh, and I gotta take my sweater off, as I'm sweating pretty good now. 